morning, people of the grid. Happy Sunday. This was a cool Sunday. So we went into the town of Vulcan, Alberta, tiny town. That's the one with the Starship Enterprise. They got the whole trekkie thing going on. Every time we're in there, there's your local gathering of nerds that come from afar to see, you know, the they have a little Star Trek shrine thingy and some art it's all over town. It's a museum. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's, shrine. <laughs> it's a shrine. <laughs> We call them nerds, but I'm a nerd too, so I, I can like do that. Star Trek. Anyways, uh, we're in town. We went to mass, really nice, and the priest that's out there, we know him, Father Marius, and he rides. He, he rides bikes. He rides Harley's, and uh, he's riding the Orange County Choppers Pope John Paul, John Paul II bike. Yeah, and I don't know cool. if you guys used to watch on Discovery a couple of years back when we had uh, all the channels and all the TV. Um, OCC. We used to watch Orange County Choppers, OCC, and uh, Mike and Paul Tuttle and the family there building bikes. It was awesome. We liked the drama. I liked the way the dad yelled at the kids, you know, just the way I do. It's very inspirational for me. Not quite like that. I don't know if we saw that. the build of the Pope John Paul yes, II, the totally bike, did we? Did. Yeah. yeah. So awesome. the amazing thing is, is that bike is here in Alberta, in the town of Vulcan, with a guy that and we know. Father Marius is riding it. And, and they built the bike, they raffled it off, didn't they? And I then think they, they, did, yeah. they gave it to the Pope. And was it to Pope John Paul at the time or the I Pope don't know after if him? They gave it to the Pope, but they raffled it off. They raffled it off. And this lady got it. Some yeah, and some, then somebody who doesn't even ride got it. Jeff Cavins got it. And then a guy who creates a lot of Catholic material and content, if you're into that stuff, he's really good. Jeff Cavins, great guy. Um, actually met him in Calgary because he was at a couple of conferences he was at. So Jeff Cavins has the bike and he back then I don't even think he was riding much. And so he thought where's he does, he does ride. He, Jeff rides. He said where's a good home for the bike? And he found one. And the best home with any bike is with somebody who really rides, who rides and through rain it. and sleet, some sleet. And, and the good and the bad weather and really appreciates bikes. And that's Father Marius. He is a hardcore biker. Uh, so Jeff Cavins worked out a deal with Father Marius that he would be the new owner of the bike. And now Father Marius rides it. He doesn't ride it a lot because it's it's a beautiful bike. And I guess it's more of a showpiece than a riding, riding bike. But uh, he rides it. So got to sit he on it. to mass today. Yeah. You know, if I asked him, I bet you he'd even let me ride it. That would be cool. Yeah. No. He was recently down in Tennessee, and where else did he go? I don't know. He was all over. He rode down to the U.S. and rode back 10,000 miles, he bike. said. They're on his bike. Yeah, on his yeah. bike. So, pretty cool start to our Sunday. Orange yeah. County Choppers motorbike. Mass. In person. And of course, mass. Nothing beats that. But we're heading back to the lake. We're, uh, we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to eat first. It's supposed to be windy this afternoon. Is it? Yep. So probably more relaxing, but... Uh, it's all gonna, good. Yeah, can never get enough relaxing. No. Yeah, it's true. She's been doing better lately. I don't know what it is. I've always done good. You're just not doing as good. She's been beating me with Scrabble, so we're gonna fix this. <laughs> we had a really nice day. We uh, we made it back here. Had a really it's nice, windy. it's windy. Uh, hopefully you can hear us okay. We had a really nice brunch. We hung out, we went to the pool, spent a few hours there. That was so Easy, nice. <laughs> Everybody was in the pool, but it was yeah. still really nice. And we came back here to finish our Scrabble game. Yeah. And I think awesome. uh, we're gonna have some supper and maybe watch a movie. It's getting windy here, so you could sit outside or you could be inside air conditioned. It's not as fun when watching it's a movie. Windy. Which is the right way to camp. Air conditioned, watching a movie. Nice. Day. It is a good day. I'd like to get out on the lake. Won't be today. Think, no, it won't be today. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow either. I haven't checked the weather. I gotta go uh, water Planty, the redneck truck plant. 
My little, my little caraganas. I got five of them going. Let me see. I know. And you know what I did? Let me show you. You're gonna get supper ready? Where are they? Oh, there they are. So these are all, they're dried up and shriveled up, but inside of these were little tiny, yeah, they're, they're just, they've shriveled up. They were little pods, almost like pea pods, and they had little tiny beans in them, seeds. They're almost like tiny, tiny beans is exactly what they look like. So I, I harvested a few, the, the pods were already cracking open. So in the heat, they crack open and the seeds fall and it just spreads everywhere. And uh, took some of those, planted them, and I got the uh, I got the little the little whatever shoots growing. Pretty excited about that. This is so nice. Temperature is beautiful. It's very comfortable. You can sit outside all night, except for the wind. But it's good. It's good to be out. Good to be relaxing. Well, guys, it's that part of the weekend again. The weekend has come to an end. It's time for us to go home. So we're gonna load up the car and hit the road. I got one kayak strapped to the top of the Tesla. I got another kayak that's gonna be coming home next week. Figured I'd just do one at a time because we got the time. But look at them. They're actually growing really well. We'll put you at plant level. get the idea I just unplugged it all right everything is stowed bags are in kayak is secured oh I can see it in the in the sunroof nice you have a good day. Have go I know it's tougher and tougher towards the end of the yeah. end of the summer because we know it's coming to the end of the summer. For us, we've got one more weekend with the boat, and next weekend Amelia should be coming out. So hopefully we'll uh, get some quality boat time on the water. Today we had some quality pool time. Yeah, it was fun. And uh, another hot day, 28 degrees Celsius. Not bad at all. And the pool just takes off that edge perfectly. It chills you enough that by the time you get on the deck and you cool off, you're good for a few hours mm -hmm. easy. Yeah, it's a nice thing to have for sure. You sound tired. I'm a little tired. Yeah? Yeah. Too much resting this weekend? Ready for a shower. Yeah. It's All right. Good. That's a wrap for our weekend. We'll get some... Uh... I'm sad. School starts for everybody tomorrow though. Everybody, yeah, including Ethan. Ethan including is back Ethan. to year three of university tomorrow. And uh, the girls, of course, back to school, yeah. which means you're going to have the majority of your day to yourself. Yeah, it doesn't mean it. I just sleeping like, in. Yeah, okay, that's how my day is. Eating going. bonbons. No. The life of a housewife of leisure. I have lots to do. I know you do. And we got a lot to do because we got to get ready for our trip to BC. So mm -hmm, we're excited. That's going to come together this week. All right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. We're going to hit the road. We've already hit the road. Uh, yeah. Cat. Hey cat. Hey there people of the grid.
we are home now and uh, the drive was uneventful. There was not much to see out there because it's so sort of smoky and hazy from the fires. And then the farmers are out running their combines and kicking up lots of dirt into the atmosphere. That's cool to see. Well, it's cool to see, it's just a big dust storm. So we didn't video anything, but we did make it home. We had some dinner, we had some company, which I'm gonna show you here as we exit out. There's a boy. There's our daughter, Amelia, and there's a boy. The only thing I can tell you is I haven't killed him yet, so that's a good thing, right? Yes. It's a good thing. He's nice. He's nice. And we're just gonna, what, take it easy? Got plans for the rest of the night? I think we're gonna finish watching Scorch Trials. Scorch Trials? Scorch Trials, yeah. Technology. We're, we're out at the lake and we're trying to watch. You had downloaded the movie. Well, first of all, we tried to watch it streaming and it, it wasn't working so we no. thought we thought we'll download it and then we got that hdmi message it's can't, basically well no it was like you can't watch this downloaded you have to stream it you have to stream it so then we went back to streaming and then it said well then you can't watch it at all that's the hdmi so painful so, so tries painful. And couldn't watch it. so here we can stream it because we got faster internet yeah. it'll work well oh the exciting thing and i guess i'll give you my thoughts on it after it's going to be Today, let me see, today's Monday, Tuesday. On Wednesday, Apple has their big announcement. So they're gonna be rolling out new iPhones. They're gonna be rolling out new Apple Watches and they should be rolling out new iPad Pros. So I don't know. I don't know, for the first time, it's that time of year. For the first time in a long time back, when was it? Because I, I bought the watch, Apple Watch in 2019 and the iPhone in 2019 haven't upgraded them since. And I bought the iPad Pro in 2018 and I haven't upgraded. And that's a first for me because I used to upgrade every year. I mean, I worked at Apple, so uh, it was it was just upgrade all the time and I was happy to do it. But now, I don't know. There hasn't been as much new and exciting. It reminds me of, remember the movie Tron where they created the new operating system and the CEO comes out and the one guy who's there, who was there with the original guy he's like so what have we changed this year and he's like well instead of a 12 it's a 13. and that's how i feel about some of the stuff coming out yeah the cameras are better this yeah. year it's rounded this next year yeah. it's square next year it's flat the phones are fast enough they're great so i've got an iphone 11 pro max with the bigger screen that's what i run very happy with it and my ipad pro from 2018 extremely happy with it that thing is still killing it the only thing is the battery doesn't last as long as it used to but i don't care my watch from 2018, it's been putting in heavy duty double time. I've been swimming with it, tracking workouts in the water, tracking workouts on land. Yeah, that's been amazing. It's been good. So I don't know. I don't know if there'll be enough in there to tempt me to upgrade. We'll see. I'll let you know. So back to work this week, back to school for everybody. Yep. It's going to be a good week. Yeah. You guys have a good night. We'll catch you next time. Micah, Tammy, Tammy out. out.